created in a laboratory. Programmed to kill. I know this will live among them like ghosts. Waiting for the moment when our oppressors shall be forced to kneel before us! <laughs> the day of reckoning! So, I'm here today with the one and only Dolph Lundgren, who mm. stars alongside Scott Adkins and Jean Claude Van Damme in Universal Soldier Day of Reckoning. Dolph, thanks for taking the time to talk to sure. us today. Sure, man. Um, cool. You're well known for being a guy who's, who's always in shape. Yeah. Um, what have you done over the years to kind of alter your training regime as you've gotten older? And what do you do differently in the gym? Well, you have to think more, you know, you have to be smarter. You have to think, you know, how do, how do I feel today? What am I doing later? What's going on tomorrow? Am I traveling? Uh, do I have any small injuries? You know, am I like a little, my energy is a little low. Whereas, you know, when you're 25, you just go in the gym and you just lift, you know, you just go running and you just push right through it. And you can do that when you get older, but then you pay the price the next day. So what I try to do is kind of cycle uh, in a, in a cl more clever way, like cardio, strength training, rehab stuff, and then rest. So it's just being more kind of attuned to your body, I think. So how over a typical week, how might that break down? Um, it varies quite a bit depending on where I am and if it's winter or summer and you know. But for instance, um, you know, I was in Spain before I came to London and uh, did some skiing there in Sierra Nevada. Cross country skiing, so that's cardio. Then I did some lifting, you know, some heavier lifting one day to kind of for structure, you know, where you go like six to eight reps, you know, heavier weights. Sure. Uh, then what I did kind of some exercises? I do uh, usually I do supersets, you know, like I'll like I have one workout, for instance, I'll do is like a lot of dumbbells. Because usually the dumbbells, you know, there's not too many people using them, so you don't have to wait, you know. And also, because you grip the dumbbells, you get your forearms and your arms sort of all the time. Like you work them no matter what you do. Sure. Uh, so it's a way of cutting corners. Um, so I do, for instance, um, you know, dumbbell squats, superset with chins. Do like three sets or four sets there. Then I'll do... Uh, Dumbbell deadlift, superset with push-ups. Then I'll do uh, dumbbell lunges, superset with uh, reverse chins, like on a you know on a Smith machine. Yeah, like inverted so, rows. Yeah, inver inverted rows. Yeah. So I'll do, for instance, that's one workout. And then you know maybe I'll take a day off. Then I'll do like a body pump class or something. You do lighter weights, you know, a little more athletic. Uh, and then um, one day I'll do like, for instance, this morning I'll do. Um, more like um, um, uh, rehab stuff. So it would be like balance work, like on a busu ball or or light, um, lighter weight standing on the busu ball, doing like curls or doing um, um, uh, deadlifts standing on the ball or doing, um, uh, you know, hitting the bag or something. Like I mix it up a little bit, stretching, that kind of stuff. So, and then for instance, yesterday I did karate here in London with a friend of mine. So I was hitting the pads. So it's kind of cross training, I guess, where I try to do a lot of different things. Basically, as a, as an action star, you know, you got to be able to kick and move and and be functional. That's the main thing. With age, you, you tend to slow down a little bit. You want to look fit, you know, and move well. So you know, whether your arms are you know two inches big or small, it doesn't really matter that much. <clears throat> There's monsters in the house. What the hell? No! No! You played all manner of action roles over the years, yeah. but out of all of them, which was the most demanding from a fitness point of view, and why? Um, probably Rocky IV was very demanding because you know uh, we boxed, you know, in the ring, no shirt on. There was no in those days. There was no CGI. There was no. There was no. We didn't use any doubles. It was all me and Sly. So I think that was quite demanding uh, physically. Um, and Masters of the Universe, I trained really hard for that, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, I've done some other films that were, you know, quite demanding as well. But I, that sticks out in my mind as having trained a lot for. Her. Now, obviously, <clears throat> Ivan Drago is such an iconic role. Yeah. And um, and it's it's obviously it's what you're probably most well known for. Mm -hmm. You went into it though as a literally a first time actor with, with hardly any experience at all. Uh, must have been quite a lot of pressure on you. There was a lot of pressure, yeah. I mean, I, I was, uh, it was quite su well suited for me because I looked the part and I, I was a fighter anyway. I was a karate champion and I had done a lot of lifting. and So it wasn't that far of a st stretch, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, there was a lot of pressure. Um, 
on camera, but more so off camera, because once you go from being a chemical engineer slash you know karate guy to being famous world, worldwide, it's it's weird and it's kind of you never you can never really get used to it. It's it's a it's a bizarre feeling. And that took me a while to figure it out. Yeah, for sure. I mean, is it true? I, I read that you. During the filming of Rocky, you punched uh, Stallone so hard in the chest that he had to spend four days in intensive care. Was in the two weeks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I don't know what happened. Um, you know, we both got hit quite a bit, and he told me to hit him, and I did. He was my boss, and I did what he told me. I guess nice uh, to a little hard, boss. I suppose. <laughs> Betrayed, they seek freedom. Led by the undisputed Universal Soldier. We're our brothers. We're our one one. Obviously, Universal Soldier sees you reunited with Jean Claude Van Damme yeah. again in one of reprising one of your most famous previous roles. Yeah. Now, if I'm right, you and Van Damme both actually used to compete on the European sort of karate tournament circuit mm -hmm. back in the day, late mm -hmm. 70s, early 80s. If you'd ever faced each other back then in a karate tournament, <laughs> who do you think would have won? I don't know if he did. I know I competed. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I never. I, I don't know. I mean, uh, I know I, I was European champion, so I suppose I would have had a pretty good shot at him. So. <laughs> you recently wrote a book, I believe, a couple of years back called uh, Fit Forever, yeah. which, amongst other things, gave people advice on how to train, how to stay fit around a busy schedule. Yeah. I'm sure, obviously, there's, there's a lot of content within that, but what would be if you had to give somebody one top tip <laughs> for being able to do that, what would it be? One tip. Well, anything is better than nothing. You're better off just doing like five push-ups in the morning if you have five minutes. And then your body functions in such a way that you now next morning you'll feel like doing six or ten, you know. So you kind of just got to build from someplace. So just not using a lack of time as an excuse no, for nothing. No, exactly. That's, that's the easiest way out. It's just I don't have time. <clears throat> You've got a degree, like you said, in chemical engineering. Yeah. Does that help <clears throat> you approach nutrition and training yeah. from a more scientific point of view? It does to some extent. You're a little more organized and it, it sort of is it's a natural thing to organize things and lay out schedules and, and analyze the results and so forth. Yeah, I think it helps training for sure. Obviously, you've got a variety of projects coming up. Is there any news on The Expendables 3? Will you be starring? <laughs> Well, the news is that I don't know anything. The news is that I've heard that, you know, Jackie Chan is back and maybe Wesley Snipes in it. And I hear they're talking to guys like Clint Eastwood and so forth. But I suppose I'll be asked. And if I have time and if, you know, everything else works out in a the deal, then I'll do it, I suppose. If you could pick one additional co-star <laughs> that you would love to star with above anybody else, who would it be? Mr. Eastwood, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to meet him and talk to him for two seconds. <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme. Scott Adkins with Dolph Lundgren in the ultimate battle. Hello, soldier. To the end. Universal Soldier, Day of Reckoning. There is no end.